guys, it's Martina and it is time for some beauty samples. I'm super excited to open up my Birchbox and Ipsy this month, so let's jump into this. This month I'm starting off with Ipsy. If you've never heard of either one of these subscription services before, they are $10 beauty sub subscription services. You receive four to five samples in each one. Birch box, you get a pretty box that you can store stuff in. Ipsy, you get a pretty bag, and the bags change every month. This month it looks like this, and it's really pretty. It's kind of like tie-dyed-ish. And the theme for this month is Dreamers. The one thing that I wish Ipsy did was put a list of descriptions on the back of the products that you got, because Birchbox does that and it just makes it easier to know what you're looking at. But let's look inside here and see what I received. So the first thing is a Moroccan oil. This is a Moroccan oil treatment. It says for all hair types. I've seen a ton of people talk about this before. It's very useful for flyaways and for keeping your hair nice and smooth and healthy and it helps protect your hair from heat and I just think that's a really really cool little thing to have. Next I have a brush by Lab Squared. It says just blending in brush. It's like a little blending brush. It's really soft. Next is a product from Ren Clean Skin Care. It is the Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. It doesn't say it has any kind of SPF or anything like that, but skin creams are always nice to try out. It just has a nice clean scent, so that'll be nice to try out, something to keep um, used for a little extra moisturization for my skin. I have a Tarte Wonder Lip Surgeon Lip Cream. It doesn't say what color it's in, but it's a really pretty almost berry pink color and these are nice and smooth and creamy and awesome and then finally I have another product from Trust Fund Beauty yeah Trust Fund Beauty I received a nail polish from them before this is called a that glow though highlighter I love the packaging the packaging is beautiful the packaging on the inside however is a little lacking I mean you can see what it says clearly but I just wish it was like this pretty box that it came in I think that would have been prettier but inside it is just a stick highlighter it is a really pretty pinkish shimmer shade yeah that's really pretty I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but it's really really pretty and next on to Birchbox I love when Birchbox will put like an adjective before your name. This month I am the peppy Martina. This month my box looks like this which is absolutely beautiful. They partnered with Rifle Paper Co which I have looked on their website previously. They have really really pretty phone covers and stuff like that. So beautiful. I believe I picked out a already curated box I think. So let's open it up and see what's in here. So the first thing I see is this card and on the back of it, like I said before, it has a list of everything that came in my box as well as a list of what the description is, how much the full price is off their website and things like that. So we open this up and one thing I wanted to point out that I've noticed they've started doing is putting like this foam in the bottom, which is really nice because it protects your products. So we'll open this up and we'll look at all the beautiful products. So the first thing I have here is a Laura Geller Baked Blush in the color Tropic Hues. That is beautiful. It's a nice like peachy pink color. Oh, so pretty. I hope you guys can see that. It'll be really, really pretty for spring and summer. Beautiful. Then I have a Birchbox exclusive Marcel 3-in-1 Micellar Solution. Um, I love trying out new micellar waters. I have tried them from the Simple brand, Garnier, and there's another one I know I've tried. So I'm excited to try this out too. I like to try and compare them and see which one I like better. I received a hand cream 
This is a by the brand Toka, which I received before. I didn't like the scent I received before, but this one is in pink tulip and green apple, which does smell good. It smells more florally than fruity, but and it smells a little bit like a powder, but it does smell good still. I will definitely be using this. I have a little contour cream from Dr. Jart Plus. It is a Liftra Contour Cream. Hmm. It says that it is a high-tech, first-of-its-kind, collagen-producing cream, visibly firms, lip, lifts, and plumps skin. That's interesting. wonder if that's supposed to be, like, for your under-eye, maybe? I'll have to look into this to see where I can actually put it, because I don't want to put it somewhere and have it, like, do something weird, so. And lastly, I have a parlor by Jeff... Chestain, a volumizing lifting spray. I think I've tried something by this brand before. Actually, I know I've tried something by this brand before, and I think it was a hairspray, and I liked it okay. It was just an okay hairspray, but I'm excited to try this out. I like lifting and volumizing my hair because my hair is really thin. It tends to fall flat, so I'm excited to try this. So there's a look at everything that I received this month in Birchbox and Ipsy, and if I were to compare them, I would say maybe a tie. Let's see. I'm excited to use these three products here. I think these are all going to be really fun and pretty to use. I'm excited to try out the micellar water and this blush and also see what this product actually does. And the others I'm not as excited about, but I will definitely be using. So I'm going to call it a tie for this month. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys received in your Birch Box or Ipsy, or if you guys do any other kind of beauty boxes. I want to know what else is out there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you real soon. Bye!